But Dr. Grostick is credited with implementing the supine or face up leg length check as a means of determining the presence of nerve interference at Atlas C1. It was later refined by his son, Dr. John D. Grostick, and has since been adopted by many different chiropractic techniques. In fact, it's now the gold standard of physical examination for nerve interference at Atlas C1. The supine leg link check um, looks for a disparity caused by abnormal muscle tension that runs down one side of the body that functionally pulls one leg shorter than the other. Um, and it's not that one leg is actually shorter, but that the body is pulling one leg short. And while this technique looks simple, it's actually very meticulous and doctors train to be able to do this leg length check correctly. So Dr. Grostick had theorized why this happens and why this technique is, um, is accurate. And like many things in science, it is still a theory, but he proposed that the spinocerebellar tract of the spinal cord was being affected when the atlas misaligned because something called dentate ligaments that hook from the spinal cord to the atlas itself caused distortion in the spinal cord that then affected the body and caused that functional short leg.